So here we are at the pointy end of the project, almost getting the wax ready for the lovely wife to make her products. We've got our Aussie wax melter back out again. There's a free plug for them, not that we're getting anything out of it, but it's a good little pro it's a good little blooming piece of apparatus. So what you've got here is you've just got the two levels. So you've got a crack tap and a clean wax tap. And we just gotta put some water in here. It always seems to be water and wax. I don't know what that's about, but it seems to be what goes on. So we're just gonna pop a bit of water just to the bottom edge of this tap and then we'll go and get some wax and pop that in there and then we'll get our shit together look at that i'm like professor sumner miller here's one i've prepared earlier i've got the bucket ready that was like the science shows or the cooking shows isn't it the cooking shows are always got that apparently some of those cooking shows they have meals in reserve in case they screw it up <laughs> they can just pull one out of the blooming oven that was good prostate that was wasn't it pew, pew. anyway right so that's a bit of goodness then we'll go and get our wax so this is ep stage three <laughs> Look at that. so considering this is only stage two so we've started there at stage well okay well, that's stage nothing really isn't it <laughs> that was in the big pot we melted that down we've got to this bit and now we might create a product that the wife can use. So, hell, if we get it right, we might actually show you some cool shit that she's putting together. Home on the range, where the bees and the wax gets wanted. Oh, help. I might not put that up there. Oh, golly. Anyway, so we'll just pop the wax in here. And the thing with this is, this is, a double boiler so it's very relaxed heating up so it just nice and gentle warms the, the water on the outside anyway there's a water in between here and here so the heating element isn't actually directly on the wax so the theory is it can melt everything and it's there's no turbulence turbulence is there is it oh. i guess you call it turbulence in the saucepan do you but anyway so it doesn't move anyway and so hopefully the shit will settle out rightly and we'll get beautiful clean wax. Looks like a big lump of Eden cheese or what is it? What's that? What are those cheese wheels that they make? <laughs> Imagine that. How funny would that be? You put that in a... If you're having a birthday party or something and you had the cheese platter out and you put your cheese knife sort of on the edge of it and a little bit of... I don't know. What do you put with that? A bit of... What's that? Um, quince jelly that they have with cheese? Sit that next to it. I reckon that'd be so funny. That'd be a bloopers reel then, wouldn't it? Whatever that's, what was that bloomin' stupid thing where they make pranks on people? Anyway, we're not gonna do that. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> right, and all the little shrapnel bits. All the little bits and pieces. Pop them in here as well. Around the bits. Oh, goodness, this should be good. Got. We got three guards, three guards, some wax. I'm sure Mr. Esky didn't have that in mind, did he, when he made this? A wax storage pot. Anyway, get the dirt off it. we don't have to stand here all night doing anything we just go away and come back in the morning and it'll all be nicely mellowed out and separated and the shit will be at the bottom and the cool stuff will be in the middle and then we can hopefully we can find some molds to put it in otherwise that will be a bit of a bummer It'd be like when i started this project i put it in all my lunch boxes and I, the other day i was wondering where they all went and i can't I've, anyway i fossicked through the shed and i found them all sort of half full of old wax Shh, don't tell her. I think she bought us. The wife did actually have a good excuse to buy a nice new lunchbox because now we're all out there. So, anyway, all's well that ends well. See you in the morning.
Oh, smells bloody good. I don't think we'd want to make soup there though. That was cool. Look at that. So the plan is that we have a little bit of floaty shit on the top. Hopefully hardly any. I reckon I can see one little bit over here that I might flick out. And then the muck's on the bottom. So we're just going to drain that around this other tap in a minute. And then we should be able to drain beautiful pure wax off of here to pour in our little moulds. And the bush bee man's wife is going to be most impressed, I hope. So, golly gosh, it's a bit of a project, but it should be good. I'm just having a review. I think maybe I'll just use my old saucepan rather than mother's good glass jug. Otherwise, I'm sure that that all gets covered in wax. I will not be popular because I reckon that might have been her nana's. So, that's probably a family heirloom, so I'll get in all sorts of trouble for that. So look at that, I'm turning over a new leaf. So we're going to open this tap, which if you remember we've got the water just above here, a little tiny bit, above there if you can see. And so we're going to let the sediment that's come underneath the wax out the bottom. We'll run a little bit of wax out of there until we think it looks like it's cleaned up a bit. And then the middle part, all of this part, from here to here, should be pure wax until we get to the top, which will have a bit of floaty stuff as well, and then we'll put that through a filter. So here we go, are we ready? <sighs> the excitement of it all, folks. <laughs> Here comes the crap. Right, stopping. Then we're going to tip that out because that's just the water and stuff and then we'll let it run a little bit of wax off that we will still keep. My one hand saucepan. It did have a handle on the other side once upon a time. <laughs> Do. So in theory, we should have a beautiful lot of wax in there. So we've got our, we've even got ourselves a special beeswax jug. I'm fairly sure I didn't write that on there. <laughs> but anyway, the wife's efficient. <laughs> Not really sure if she was trying to say yes, because that's right, because we've got another jug like this which she uses for pouring the soap and the lip balms and whatever else, all the other stuff that's pre-made out of this product. So here we go. We've got these cool little moulds that the wife's got. When I first started making this beeswax for her, I'd send it in with this pretty great big chunk. And then she was in the kitchen trying to chop it up into little pieces. And so there's been great excitement since it's gone. Give me some pieces the right size that I can just operate with. And so, anyway, these are pretty moulds. And so, hell, you never know. We might put some pretty ass beeswax on the website as well. And you can buy your own and do something with it. Maybe you could make your own. Tea tap, not so. One of those wax covered things that they make with a cloth and they iron the wax on there, and then you've got all natural instead of using glad wrap, you've got an all natural food covering. Cover. <laughs> an all natural food covering. <laughs> anyway, here comes some wax. So, this used to have a little bendy tappy thing on here as well, or an outlet, but I've taken it off, so hopefully, I don't get covered in hot beeswax because it used to get blocked up, and then you had to get a bit of wire and poke up there. So, now I've just got a painted stick to clean it out with. Are we ready? Now this is the tricky part for an expert such as myself. <laughs> Trying to make nice little pouring bits. So if one bee in its life will make a teaspoon of honey, I wonder how many bees it takes to make a like a kilogram of wax or a teaspoon of wax and the weird thing with wax of course is that it's about the only thing that the bees don't recycle because they don't normally like they'll they'll take pollen that they stored up and they'll take the honey they've stored up and use it up but if you leave a slab of beeswax out they don't sort of turn up and chew on it and take it home and reuse it so obviously they need it to be nice and fresh and they make their nice little wax flakes on their bellies and rub them together. But I'd just be curious to know how many bees would it take to make a kilogram of wax, I wonder. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's done it, that's a bee study rapper. Is that a word? Study rapper? Bee study rapper. I'm sure it's not called study rapper. <laughs>
So this is why I took the bend off of this little excitement because look at that. Oh no, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. So when I had the bend on, I had a bit of bloody wire and tried to shove it around there and that was a bit crazy. So I decided I guess get a skewer. Just give it a little poke with me skewer. Give it a little poke and a little bit of a wriggle and then off we go. Darlings out here, make them look pretty. When we get to the quality control offices, you'll be flicking bits out back into the pot. Look at that. The boss will say, Bush B man, what sort of consistency do you call that? <laughs> God, tell you what, I don't know. Anyway, that one's really bad. <laughs> These are very cool little moulds. And they're coming out nice too. Have a look at that, looks like a what that? It's probably meant to be the beeswax soap moulds. Heck, I hope we're not in trouble when the boss gets home. <laughs> oh, hell. Anyway, it smells amazing. Mm -mm -mm. That's probably why it smells so cool when you make candles out of beeswax. So we're on the home stretch. We've just run out the sediment down to this, I don't know what to call that, but that's like the last little bit of the slurry. So now this might shock you viewers, but actually one very important thing to do if you're gonna get one of these heater upper machines is clean the bloody thing up after every, every lap. Don't leave all the shit in there because it's bloody hard to get off when it gets cold. Easy enough to wipe up with some paper towel while it's warm, but you let it get cold, it's an absolute nightmare. So take a hint from the roughest beekeeper you're gonna meet. Ciao. Now we'll just go and get some towel, we'll clean up our mess, and then we'll be on to the next project. <laughs> the things you do <laughs> to clean up the wax. Anyway, we're at least at this point, and this is about, well, I think my involvement is still going to be continuing on, but this is where I'm handing over the enchargedness of it all to my lovely wife, who's going to take these fabulously clean wax that we've got organised here, unless, of course, you pop on the website and buy it before she gets hold of it, which is a very real possibility, and we can make ourselves some lip balm, which is kind of groovy shit, which I really enjoy, even though you wouldn't believe a bloke would use lip balm, but it's kind of cool. The son-in-law reckons it's great too, he's got a couple of pots. And she's made this wicked ass hand and body cream, which is kind of cool. That's really nice, it makes your skin all soft and beautiful. And she's got lovely soft hands from that. Keeps you all well. And I made some shaving cream, which is kind of groovy ass. I even put some mead in there for a bit of flavour, so if you want to get your hands blokes on some mead flavoured shaving cream. <laughs> that was a bit mischievous. But anyway, the other thing about the shaving cream that I found is my Jolly Razor's been lasting like heaps longer. It doesn't all block up in the things. And there's some beard balm in the, in the pipeworks, so that won't be too far away from the website. And that should maybe even put some on your eyebrows, keep them in order. And anyway, there's gonna be some other cool products that we've got organized a little bit at a time. I would imagine, I wanna have a go at making some candles, but I'll just see how I get on, whether I'm allowed anywhere near any of this. But I figure these plain blocks I could melt down. That'll be like soap, doesn't it? I could melt that down and maybe try making a candle. But that might depend on supply and demand. I hope that makes some sense. If you're into beekeeping, give that a go to get some wax yourself. If you're not into beekeeping and you want to get your whole some wax without any of the mess that went involving to get to this point, click over to the Bush Bee Company website and maybe you can grab yourself some.